Uh, today I'm going to be showing you some of my equipment I'll use on location and in studio for shooting portraits uh, in Hollywood. And uh, let's get to it. Do it. So, this case here is actually a dual case. I use this when I go to fashion shows and I shoot runways. Reason being is I can put some gear in it and I can actually sit on it when I'm inside the photographic pit. But it's a great bag. It's actually a storm case. This one here is a pelican case. Uh, I, I really kind of prefer the uh, pelican for the fact you've got the handle here. Whereas the storm, you don't. You use this, which is also pulls up to be the actual carrying uh, wheeling handle. But you can sit flat on this more comfortably than you can with this with the handle here when I'm shooting runway. So that's why I use this one as a runway case. I also have these nice push buttons here for the locks, whereas the, uh, these ones you literally just click like so. Haven't had a problem with either, so they're all great. Inside we have a think tank bag. I can't remember the name of this bag, uh, but it, uh, it's actually an airport ultralight, <laughs> as you'll see here. The great thing about this bag is, before I open it and show you what's inside, it fits, it's designed to fit in one of these cases, but I can also do this, I can pull it out, and it's also a backpack. It's a, it's a really great bag for that purpose. Um, so really, really enjoy this bag. Uh, the reason why I use this bag, uh, it allows me to not have to use modifiers, because normally you'll use sort of like separated or you know, cushion inside to separate all your gear inside, but this does that, but allows me to just pull it straight out and off you go. So, inside it, this is my location kit. Uh, quite often I'll only need to uh, shoot with just one light, quite often in a reflector when I'm out in location, for really quick and simple jobs. Nothing fancy, nothing big, and uh, it's a great little battery pack. It's a Profoto Acute B600. Use the uh, dust on there. Um, funny enough, I just used it last week and it's already getting dust. So, fantastic little um, kit. It, it's only fairly new to me. Uh, it's got a nice small battery pack, and I'll be getting a, a spare, I've actually ordered a spare battery, which is on its way. But the battery is good for about, you know, 120, 150 full power shots at 600 watts, uh, which is more than enough for uh, just about everything except shooting against the sun. You kind of to get that nice deep blue, slightly underexposed clouds in the sky and, and so forth, and to shoot strongly against that, uh, you kind of struggle with something that's under about 1200 watts. But for most other things, it's fantastic. It's small, it's relatively light, has a nice little shoulder, so I can put it on my shoulder and off I go. Quite often with this pack, I can use this, which is basically a, uh, a Pro 7 ring flash. I've had it modified to work on an acute, uh, but I think they're the same connection as far as I know. So uh, that will work with an acute. As you'll see here, you've got the brackets here for mounting the camera if you want to shoot through here, like so. Uh, quite often this can also be attached to a light stand. And I can use it basically as a similar to a beauty dish. Uh, it has a similar kind of hard directional light like a beauty dish that's not too wide and not too narrow. But it really is um, a light that I don't use all that often, but can be handy for, I like to use it as a bit of fill light from the front. Just as a, a you know, light to just get rid of shadows under the eyes and under the nose and so forth and under the chin and uh, it does its job there. A lot of people use this as a main hard light, uh, especially against a nice backdrop. We get a nice little sort of halo shadow around the subject on the backdrop, um, but I don't really shoot like that. And uh, yeah, but it's a, great, uh, it's a great quick little easy setup where you just put the camera in, attach it to the battery pack and off you go. So in here I also have and it looks a little messy the way I've packaged it up, but an acute B head. Uh, that's just this is just a basic head that powers, powers it has a nice modeling light, works fantastic, uh, and that came with the pack here. And of course I have my manual sync cables. 
And again, I carry the charger everywhere I go with me. There is a charge you can get for this that actually allows you to use it as a mains. I think it's the Pro 7B charger. And that will keep that continuously charged when I'm working in a studio scenario. I also have grids. Uh, these grids uh, allow me to narrow my focus down when I'm using it uh, alongside a, uh, a reflector on top of my head, which I'll show you in just a moment. So I carry those in here. But this bag here, I have different dividers, and when I shoot Fashion Week, I'll be able to actually change the dividers up, and I'll use this as a fashion bag. So uh, again, well not as a fashion bag, but you know what I mean. Like so. When I'm shooting on certain locations where I have access to power, my uh, light of choice are these. These are the new, pro, well, relatively new Profoto D1 uh, monoblock heads. Uh, the advantage of these are they're a bit smaller than the previous generation, as you'll see. They're a great light. Uh, they, uh, they're nice and compact. It doesn't require any sort of battery pack, so this is everything that you see here. The power is controlled here. So literally this is these two put together. So you'll see here in terms of size, if I remove this, you'll see the size difference there. So this is quite good considering that, you know, the power generator, everything is in this, but you do need to use it with uh, a power outlet. So using it on location, you'll need generators to power it. Another great thing about that I love, which a lot of people have given a little bit of criticism, is a flat glass. But like the, uh, the bronze color, I think, Pico lights, has a very similar design. The reason why people have criticized this is because you don't get a nice wider spread of light. It's a bit more directional, narrower beam of light. But Profoto have got an optional accessory. Unfortunately, it's optional, it doesn't come with it. And that is the diffusion glass. So basically, you take off the top plate and you stick this on. And now you're in business. I really do enjoy using these, these units here and they're relatively inexpensive and uh, highly recommended. They also come, actually, very important. It comes in a kit and the kit consists of basically a couple of umbrellas, uh, a couple of really light stands that I wouldn't recommend using. But really, I love this thing here. This is the Profoto Air Remote. The amazing thing about this actual remote is the fact that it allows you to control the output of each monoblock head from the actual camera. So if I give you an example, when I'm shooting, I'll stick this on here. Oh. Now I used to use pocket wizards, but this thing is fantastic. This allows me, when I turn this on, it allows me to control what channel my light heads are on and I can up and down, increase and decrease the power of each monoblock head without having to go to the head itself. And because these are monoblock heads, when they're up on stands, it's very difficult to get to those power settings. So, quite, so this really is uh, a fantastic product and allows me to turn the modeling light on or off as well. Um, really, they've done a great job with this. It doesn't have a lock, but uh, it really does sit on really nice and firmly. I've never had a problem with it coming off, as you'll see here. I also carry more tape with me. Uh, extremely important uh, to have some sort of tape on these sort of shoots. Uh, generally, you know, this is just basically, you know, just as important as having lights. You just never know when you might need tape for something you know, to tie down cables on the ground and make sure the tape to the ground so that no one trips over it. Safety is a very important thing when it comes to doing these kind of shoots and this is part of that measure. With digital these days, it's, it's become less of a necessity, but it really is something that's quite important on a shoot to be able to uh, measure different stops of light, uh, especially if I want to achieve you know, a certain light setting for fill, a certain light setting for, for uh, my key light, backlights, uh, hair lights, 
and I want to basically just calculate the difference between stops of each light. And it makes it a lot faster than, say, taking a, a test picture with a digital camera and then looking at the picture and seeing how that looks. So really, um, very, very important. So now here we have a couple of little slave flashes. Uh, these are fantastic for, for environments where I want to, uh, you know, I'm on location, I don't have a lot of space, so I need to light certain parts of the room. And these will fire off remotely off, off the other flashes of slaves. So basically it'll boom, like so. It's only one power setting, so I need to make sure I might need to diffuse it by putting some paper over the front uh, or a cloth or whatever it might be, or just point it in a different direction. But they sit flat and they also sit on an angle like so. And they really are a great little device. I think they're about $17 each. So for the money and uh, convenience. They're just great and handy to have. They run off like AA batteries and uh, they sit in a little box. And I keep two of them in my kit. 